Mr. We're going to talk about Mr. Mr. Tate. Mr. Tate has something good to say. Uh, I think this was interesting. Oh, my boy, um, Andrew. Yeah, I think he has something interesting to say. Um, let's see what he got to say. I mean, it's already put out right there. Um, talk about uh, passive income. I, I, I like the vibes he was saying. So let's go ahead and um, watch <laughs> this and see what he got to say. A little bit of fitness. I mean, I fit this little bit on finance. Let's go. Talk about things like passive income. Passive income is a fucking scam. I'm tired of people. I'm tired of people coming to me saying I want to make passive income, and I sit there and say, "What methods of passive income would you say is a scam?" It's not about it's not about it being a scam. It's about the mentality towards it is a scam. I'm look. Everyone loves passive money, right? I make money as I sleep. Yep. I get it. You you need to delink your time to your money because if you're only working for money, you run out of time. You can't make enough money. I understand all those principles. My point is, if you have no money. And you're coming to me saying, I want to make passive income. Why are you not making active income? Get up off your ass and work first. Yes. Because there's no such thing as completely, truly 100% passive. You're going to have to check on it. You have to maintain it. You're going to have to find a new tenant for that property. You're going to have to make sure that DeFi crypto farm you're in doesn't go to zero. It's not a rug pull. Yeah. You're always going to have to keep an eye on it, right? But the idea that people with no money are already so concerned with making money without work is amazing to me. <laughs> you should be worried about active income. If you show me, if I'm a brokey and you show me how to make a thousand dollars an hour, <laughs> I don't sit there and go, okay, but how can I make that passive? I go, cool. I'm making $18,000 a day because I'm going to work. Dude, you don't need to worry about passive income until you have no more time. I look at passive income because I have 18 hours a day I work. When all 18 of those hours are done and my workload still isn't finished, I have to find a way to make some of those income streams passive, either via staff or whatever else. Yep. And that's how I work smart. I use all of my time. And when all my time is done, you now I have to become more efficient yep. so that I can get more done within the same time frame. To sit there and say, I don't want to use my time, so I want passive income is dumb, at, is dumb shit. The 16-year-old making 45 grand a month, if he was to sit to me and go, I don't want to make the TikToks. I want someone else to do it, make it passive, that he wouldn't be making any money. He's just working. You have to just work. Some point you have to bite the bullet and just work. So when someone comes to me talking about passive income and they're a brokey, I'm like, you are just lazy. You are lazy. You will never get anywhere. Lazy people never get anywhere in life. Doesn't matter what it is. I'm never. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ruby, Ruby, going off, man. I, I like Andrew. Tate. He's a strong speaker. He don't. I mean, he. Yeah. He right. tells the un, un, unfiltered truth. You know. Yeah. Very true. I mean, um, this is. We talked about it before on our channel many of times about passive income. A lot of people know about passive income. A lot of people love passive income. Who who wouldn't? I mean, getting money it's passive. It's just, it's just income passively coming into your bank account. Who wouldn't love that? But I think it's passing around too much. I think it's passing around way too much. And he had and Mr. Tate, he had um some good points on there i don't think that you people just go straight to all right i have a little job and then now is oh yeah i need passive income i mean now mm -hmm. you're just trying to be lazy man you can't you can't be too lazy you can't you can't you know you can't just think that just because you, you you start a little <laughs> business or you make a little bit of money and you just automatically want to just start a little passive income that's not that's not how i work player that's how it work, man. You got, you got to put in that word, you know? Y'all feel me? I'll let y'all, you know, y'all, nah, I'll say y'all a little two cents on this, man. I like this one. You know, I love work. You know, hey, work is my thing. So, yeah, what y'all got, got to say about it, man? I'll, I'll start on this one, if you don't mind, Troy. Um, I I agree with Andrew Tate 100% because we're, we're living in the microwave generation now. I like to call it. Like, everybody wants things now, but nobody wants to put in the work. Even with people, our peers and whatnot, everybody everybody has these these big goals, right? But I think, and and especially in our community, and people in general, people don't make sub goals. People don't want to put in that that work on the sub goals to get to your major goals. Everybody thinks they're going to find that dream job before they work, you know, three or four bullshit jobs that they don't want to work. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I, I I preach this to my brothers. I. I don't love 
I don't love my my current career. I don't love this shit, but it 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 the the work I put in over the last decade plus now, eleven years plus now, just has put me in a position to where I have a little more reach, a little more accessibility, a little more means. I didn't I didn't I didn't want to do that shit, but when I got there, I kind of learned the avenues to which I could go, and I'm like, okay, if I can get to this one point, which I'm at now. I can I can use that as a found, as a steady foundation to start, you know, working towards passive income and putting things towards stuff that can make me money outside of my nine to five. But it, I had to do the nine to five. Like you have to do to get to where you want. You have to do a lot of things you don't want to do. I'm not talking about no 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 can't stop won't stop mm. nothing like that. Well, we just talked about that Friday. Yeah. Nothing like that. But you have to do the things that you don't some things that you may not love. I'm not saying you have to, but more than likely to get to where you want to go, you at some point you're going to have to get a job you don't like. You know, if get it, just get a job that pays, man. I mean, I'm gonna be careful when I say that because I don't want. I'm not saying go get a job where your it it taints your mental stability or anything like that. Only but fans. You, <laughs> Only sluts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they working. They working. They are working. Work. At, working, uh, at coo- nah, working hey, at coo- just, work, I don't working at coo- coo- just said you don't want to take nothing, man. Come on, we already talked about. Hey, y'all, don't do that, y'all. We talked about that on the other episode. Hey, some about people selling ain't your got... soul for something you ain't supposed to be doing. You know, y'all know that. Absolutely. Some people ain't got no shame. Um, <laughs> it still takes but, work, though. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's it's it still takes work. But you have you have to sacrifice something to get to get to way to get to that point. E- do you think do you think people that have millions of dollars just stop working and just start collecting? No, they they have to probably do more to maintain that wealth. They probably have to you know figure out other ways to invest it to keep it going. Because once once you've made such a tremendous gain off one investment, at some point you gotta get out of that investment and put the money into something else if you want it to continue to grow. You know, we we talk about dividends like. You know, you, you got to keep adding to it if you want to get the, the compounding effect. You have to. But where do you you don't just get money out of the sky to invest? You have to have active income that where you take a portion of that, a percentage of that and put into the shit that's working for you passively. You always have that have to have that active income if you want things to grow. Shine. Get, get your, your shine, shine on. on. Get your shine on. Shout it. Yeah. Hey, so, hey, I put this on. I put it on everywhere. Huh. Booty yeah. cheeks, kneecaps, <laughs> underarms. I got the vanilla right here. Usually, hey, I got the um, I got the lavender one. I, it, it helped me smell, sleep good. Cause I be sleeping like this, and yeah. I can smell it off my hands. I'm trying to tell you, feeling good. Y'all better rock with this. Right. It's that vanilla. Yeah. Listen, man, we ain't being ashy no more. Okay. Hygiene. Yeah. Hygiene is important. Mm-hmm. You need to get your shine. It's hydrating. Mm-hmm. It's light. It lasts all day. You don't gotta use a lot, and it's good from face to foot. Historically, I don't really use lotion or nothing like that because I'm like in a hybrid, light skin, in between dark skin. Motherfuckers. <laughs> coming, coming back from vacation, coming back from vacation, I'm a little sunburnt, so I needed something to get me my skin back right because I'm feeling like a reptile right now. So I'm gonna get this baby going on when I get home. Oh, hey, look, you gotta shine on everybody. Shine this on. is, hey, look, I got like four cases. I got a bunch of cases. And I got the big jaw too. That's yeah. old school. Y'all don't even know about that. He don't even got those no more. But look, I'm telling y'all, this shine is amazing. Help with eczema, you know, clear your skin up, all of that great stuff. So you don't want to miss out on this shine, man. Make sure y'all go get y'all a little bottle of this. All natural ingredients. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Where they can find it? So you can find this at shinecareproducts.com. Let them know that we sent you. Use the code FMF20. Get you a discount. Got to. You can have passive income. You can go right now, um, trade it. You can go buy that one share of Altria mm-hmm. and make not ninety eight cent four times a year. That's passive income. Is that enough to live off of? No. You got to keep on putting the work. You got to keep on taking that active income and putting it towards that if you wanted to make it something you can live off of. Yeah. But yeah, I think I think we really are in a society where p- people. I want this. I want that. I want to start my own business. What does a business, what does it take to start a business in most cases? Capital. Where you go get capital from? Active income. You got to go work a job before you start a business, my nigga. Like, Honestly, unless you start, starting, job. unless you're a kid, right? unless you car, unless you like a kid starting a lemonade stand, I mean, you could borrow a couple of dollars from your parents and 
you know, just tax on the lemonade that 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 sugarless lemonade y'all be selling. <laughs> and teach y'all kids better, man. Teach y'all kids better. Yeah. Selling that diabetes on the street. Yeah, they learn how to be drug dealers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. But yeah, man, I just I just think people have to realize you have to do more of what you, things you don't, may not love before you get to that point where you can just live off, you know, the fruits of your labor. Like you're mm-hmm. not just not go come easy. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get off my my stool and uh, let y'all go. <laughs> you know what? This is actually has brought to light uh, a issue that I've been teaching the younger generation. Is like I be telling them like you can do so many things to make money, which you can. Um, you can you can make money in so many different ways than just getting a job. But I'm telling them that from my experience and learning but they haven't experienced it yet. I take my brother into consideration. He is eager to get a job, even in his in his condition, his current condition, to where he gets disability. And he's like, yeah, but that's not, Ben is that he's not working for that. It doesn't set in his mind that it's actual income. So that just be gone, you know? Um, and he always wants to do some type of physical labor. He wants to do, he wants to do something. He wants to earn his money. And I respected that, but not enough to where I'm telling him like, well, you could do, you know, like, while you collecting, you could be on Twitch, you know, gaming and stuff. Like Mm -hmm. you could be, you know, he's very artistic. He could draw his ass off. You could be selling this or you can get into like graphic design. Now, this is my mentality. And these are all possible avenues. Mm-hmm. But he hasn't had the he hasn't had the the privilege of building his grit. He hasn't had the, the privilege of going through enough to actually build the tenacity of what it takes to to do those things on your own. You know, like he's only had me as a resemblance to be able to say, hey, you can. But he hasn't went through it himself. So this is actually brought to light uh, why passive income is a scam, uh, highlighting the fact that you want the result without putting in the work. So I I appreciate this this episode alone just for bringing that clarity to me. Um, I... I do love passive the thought of passive income, but it never really resonated with me because I knew just like just like what Mr. Tate said, I knew that whatever it is, you're still gonna be putting some type of work into it. You know, like I, I I'm in the real estate realm. I know people who have apartment complexes. Like you still got to factor in. You know, you're like, you just look at numbers. You're like, oh, well, you, you're making, you know, however many millions a year. Like, mm, no, you got to factor in vacancy. You got to factor in um, upgrades. You got to factor in maintenance. You got to factor in taxes, you know, taxes, tenants, mm-hmm. you know, it's a, uh, landscaping, towing, uh, all of these things. All of these are expenses. So, uh, one of the things that uh, one of my mentors taught me was, for one, you would rather have 10 doors than one. But if you're going to rent houses, then you, your portfolio can't be smaller than 10 because you're going to and you're going to if you're not going to be the property manager, that's another expense. You're going to have to put a property manager in place because, you know, like it sounds cool to have property spread about the globe or whatever, but you're not always going to be everywhere at all times. And you're not going to know all problems and you're not going to be, unless you want that, that's more work, more time that you're going to have to devote to it. Um, you're not going to be making every decision. That's what you're going to put somebody in place for. But even that takes time and work to find the right person who's going to appreciate your assets the way that you think that you know it should be appreciated so all of these things man when i thought of passive income i already knew that passive income just was a different form of work to me 
Mm. It was a different form of work. I don't, I don't, same way, Keith, I don't really like trading my time for a, a dollar where I'm not appreciated, which is most jobs, right? Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, as what you could do, your number, you know, whichever level you are in whatever other company, if you're not one of the ones who built the company, you're not going to be truly appreciated. You're never going to be paid the value that you think you're worth. That's why you go out and make your own. Um, but making your own to me is more, it's more fruitful, it's more definite, it's more fulfilling to me than uh, sitting back, you know? And another Another thing about, uh, and I think we need to save that for another topic, but um, most of the people who harbor on passive, when they do get a, when they do, like the main reason you want passive income is to have more time. Mm -hmm. The main reason you want passive income is to have more time, right? So the main people who start businesses and they harbor on, you know, their time versus what the business needs to be operating. I don't know how the business is ran because everyone, you see them, like you got businesses like, oh, we only open Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, 1 to 7 p.m. It's like, yo, I, I, <laughs> if, if anything, if you have your own business, you probably trading more of your time because you got to right. be on top of everything, like you said. Right, yeah. right. And those, I, I don't know how some of them are working, <laughs> but I, I really don't like those flexible hours. Them flexible <laughs> hours, I'm like, yo, like, man, what the? They're like, still living off them PPP loans, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, sometimes, you know, them fine dine restaurants that you have to pay, what, $50 for a cup of water? Them jumps <laughs> is like from, you know, they oh, open yeah. at like one o'clock in the day to like, you know, like eight or something like that. So, that's the only reason that I've seen that thrive that that um that do them type of hours. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you lower your labor costs by only being open for a certain amount of time, mm. you know, and then up and then you're providing a quality product, you know, that's that's a way to increase your profit margins, you know. Yeah, but those are yeah. big money restaurants. Yeah. They lost their mind. You gotta pay your rent check before you, <laughs> before you um when you eat there. You know, yeah, they don't right. be playing in there. Those are every once in a while restaurants. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like you know, you, you get this every once in a while. You that's got really, cool, I really love you if I take you me. here. Yeah, that's a cool. I, don't do, that, I don't do that shit online. <laughs> 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 I still never been to roof, Chris. Me neither. Never been to roof. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Roof is really, it's not really all that. It's, I think so. It's just, it, it, it don't it's seem not like really it. odd to me. It don't mm -hmm. seem like it. If it's if it's a chain, if there's more than, you know, if there's multiple <laughs> across the country, I probably don't want it anyway. Yeah. Uh, we got to go on the boat, bro. Shops, <laughs> that's my shit. Shop yeah, steakhouse, yeah. that's my shit. You know See? what I mean? I'll pay, you know what I mean? I'll pay a pretty penny for that. But uh, like you said, uh, once in a while, yeah, and they was. got hours too on the boat, so. <laughs> I mean, when I, my bad, uh, real quick trade, when I was down in Houston, G, a lot of the restaurants like that, the hours be all over the place. Yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, this place, I'm gonna try this place today. And like, oh damn, and they ain't open on Mondays. Like that shit was crazy. <laughs> I came at the wrong, I, I came yeah. Friday through a Monday. I should have came during the week when shit is actually open, man. It's yeah, that's how it is here, man. <laughs> Big money here, man. Yeah. But not bad, not bad. Y'all got anything else on um, Mr. Tate's words? Uh, I would say understanding that uh, this is uh, one of the things we got to talk about, the factors in financial freedom. Uh, okay. This is a passive income is a factor in financial freedom, but that will take probably the most time to accumulate, to build, right? Um, so don't get so set on passive income that you lose the opportunities to make money right in front of you and i would just i would just emphasize everything is work you don't stop working you don't stop working if you do you're probably going to lose a lot of what you built to 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 acquire um 
you can have a lot of passive income, but if you're not paying attention to like the markets or say this company or whatever entity that where you have your money invested goes down and all your assets are lost, then what are you going to do? I don't think somebody like Warren Buffett, who pretty much lives off dividends and is a billionaire, just, you know, lays around all day cutting the grass and, you know, scratching, scratching his ass on the couch. <laughs> like, I don't I don't think I don't think he stops working. I don't think the average millionaire, they may not have a a physical nine to five where they have to go into a building, but they are working. They are working to maintain that wealth. You will have to work to maintain your wealth Mm -hmm. unless you just want to live, be a a nomad or, you know, live up in the mountains somewhere, I guess. But um, you're not going to, you're not going to stop working and you're not going to be able to have all of your time if you want to live without having to to work a nine to five or a career. So Mm -hmm. true. Very true. Very true. Not bad. Not bad.